For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. My brother always tells me to see your stuff. Oh, okay, really? Yes, they have Philly Roundhouse. They, uh, oh, I'm Dan Dwyer and I'm on the board. I'm on the board. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Yeah, thanks. Uh, like the Bob Merrimack, the new regional plan called Granite State. Quote, Granite State future, unquote. I understand you had a meeting with a employee of the state highway department the other night. You know, Carrie, this is all I got in my packet tonight. Just one sheet. Okay. And And that's what I did on research to learn more about Granite State Futures and what the program entails. And so there's part of me that, that is sitting here that feels, I understand you have to market respectfully. I understand you have to market and, and sell this particular program. But I, 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 don't, I think what you're, what you're doing is just putting some very broad strokes on something that is much more, much more deeper than what you're presenting. Okay. I see. I, 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 I feel in looking at the organizational structure. First off, based on looking at your website, which I did go to look at your website, your organizational structure. First off, conveys to me. Okay, even though the RPCs are strictly advisory, I feel that there's a, this this federal overreach. This okay, federal, this, this, well, the, the driving factor is this is a hot grant. I think the, the, value, the value in that $3.5 million of our taxpayer money is brought back to your group to divvy up, to give us reports and give us some advice. I think we're stressing advisory only because I think that, <laughs> excuse me, I'm still talking. Um, I think that the we stress advisory only because we have been under fire because there's a mis misperception, exaggeration, fiction that we're out to usurp local control and local um, control over zoning and regulations, which is absolutely not, not true. But it may not be your intent. It's, it may it's not, you not be, true. It may, it may not be your personal <laughs> intent under your, gui of your guidelines, but when back to your point, when you take grant money, and the, and the grants are this pages, and you said there's almost a full-time person on your payroll just doing paperwork for grants. It's just madness. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why is it that, uh, I mean, how, who funds these booths that you guys put up around the state? You know, sir, here, let me give you my card. Why don't you give me a call? Hang on just a second. I'm turning on a night shot here. Okay. So I can see you better. Sure. Yeah. We are very happy to speak with anyone who'd like to come down and sit with us uh, What's at your our name? office. My name is Jeff Belanger. Okay, I didn't I'm get it. I'm sorry. Sorry? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay. Sorry, no problem. Here you go. Here's my card. Why don't you give me a call? I would love to sit down and talk to you sometime, and anyone from your organization. Um, but now is really just not. Now, a good if time you want, me. okay. When we're out here in the dark like this, it makes you look kind of like your eyes look wrong. It would be better if we could talk over there underneath the fluorescence, where I can make yeah. your eyes look better. Give us a call. Give during me a call. Well, now. I think I want to talk to you now. Because I'm going to need to do that. To uh, well, see, there's a wiretapping law in terms of calling people on the phone, and so, you know, so I wouldn't well, be able to record the call. You're welcome to come but to the, our office and talk to us. Okay. So the question I have next is: um, the, well, You're welcome to come to our office. Is there a connection between? what you're doing in the UN? No. no. There's no UN involvement. I know no. that's just a conspiracy theory, but I wanted to ask. Sure. Now, the Absolutely other question not. I have is, um, why, is, it, why, is it, why is it right, or is it right, for you to plan with my money? I, I'm really, I think that it would be good for you to come talk to us at our office. 
Well, you're right you in front of me right now. Well, yeah, why make it a two, why make it a two-step process? Well, because <laughs> it's nine o'clock at night, and you know we. Well, now are you guys operating on the taxpayer dime? Well, you know what, you're kind of harassing us right now at this point. Yeah. So, so are so you ordering I mean, me to are you ordering me to go away from you? I'm. Yes. Okay, Please. I'm going to comply with your order under protest. <laughs> are you un, are you operating under taxpayer expenditure or not? Do you receive taxpayer money? Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.